There's some images from the CU Ski Team of the NCAA Championships in Park City, Utah, back in the Stampede. Voice of the bus, Mark Johnson, talking with assistant coach Chad Woke here. Well, you had a big event, obviously, in Park City, Utah. How do you come out of that uh, feeling about the way the team performed? Finishing fourth. Finishing fourth is not where we want to be. <laughs> right. um, I think that for the most part, we performed very well. Looking at the Alpine side, we were honestly five turns away from really doing something special. And unfortunately, those five turns cost us big points. You know, Louis Fausa losing a ski in the giant slalom after being in fifth place. Magdalena Lusak after the day before winning the GS, straddled the gate and had to hike. Um, Philip was winning the first run of the slalom after he won the GS race, um, you know, and then couldn't quite pull it together on the second run. And, you know, Emma Hammergaard skied great, but had a mistake in the wrong spot on the hill and it really cost her. Same thing for Jacob Dilling, you know, and despite that, we had all Americans and Caitlin Harsh went from the mid twenties, mid to late twenties in the slalom to top 10. At first time she competed for us as, as a senior awesome. at the NCAA championships and was able to punch it into top 10. And that's, those are some of the standout moments showing that we're going in the right direction with these athletes and continuing to get better every day. Well, I was going to say, it kind of shows you, number one, where the program is, right? We expect to win championships here at the University of Colorado. And secondly, how razor thin competing at that level is, doesn't it? It is, it is. Yeah. And, you know, things happen in ski racing and it always is going to happen. But, you know, that's where our work comes in and we want to be able to leave no doubt. We don't want to leave it to chance. We want to be able to make sure that we are good enough with the roster that we bring and with the mentality that we have in order to find a way, no matter what, to win. Yeah, and always chasing one of these guys right back here on the shelf, by the way. Exactly. We're going to be talking with Chad Wolk in just a moment. Right now we look back upon a great lacrosse victory for the CU Buffaloes as they take care of the Oregon Ducks. What a matchup that pitted two teams that were hungry for their first Pac-12 win of the season. It was the 25th ranked Colorado Buffaloes who got the job done as they beat the Oregon Ducks 13-11 on Friday evening in Eugene. Sadie Grozier ending up with four goals on the day. Buffs over the Ducks. It's happened now 12, all 12 times in this series. And this latest edition goes in favor of Colorado, 13 to 11. So congratulations to the Sea Lacrosse team. They get the victory of the Oregon Ducks as we continue here talking skiing with Chad Woke on the uh, Colorado Buffalo Stampede. All right, let's talk about the Nordic side now, the national champion, the yep. NCAA championships in Park City. At Park City, I think the Nordics came in looking for really, really strong results. They came off of the RMISA championship skiing well and trending, and the first day we were only seven points behind Utah, and that's a huge number for us um, after day one in the Nordic skiing, with uh, Hanna being fifth, I believe, in the first race, and Magnus being third, and Will Koch and everyone really, really contributed to that performance, and looking at a possibility of only being seven points behind as we were competing in the slalom that day we were just ecstatic looking forward to what could be and then I think there was some sickness that came through the house and with some of our dropped performances in the in the GS and in the slalom it seemed like they wanted to swing for the fences we were in striking position easy striking position for second if they were conservative and they wanted to win and so they left it all out on the Soldier Hollow track and tried to do what they could do to win. And it didn't work out for them. And so with combining that with some sickness, you know, it would still, effort is never a question. Sure. And those things can happen. I think there was a lot of, a lot of little pieces that went wrong in those two days for the Nordics, you know, that they so evaluate. Now the, the season comes to an end like this. What, what, what happens in the ski team? I mean, how long do you wait until you're right back at it? And I, I know some will yep. have some, some non incident yep. events that are coming up. For sure, for yeah. sure. The Nordics are actually in Whistler right now, okay. competing in the Canadian National Championships. And then we are leaving either Thursday for the men and Friday for the women to go compete at uh, the U.S. National Championships in Sugarloaf, Maine, as well as the NORAM Finals which awesome. are individual competitions, but it's a, ski racing is a international sport, which allows us to 
gauge where we're at in the world. You bet. And besides that, there's been some fresh powder up in the mountains. There has been. That's there right. has been. <laughs> hey, Chad, thanks for joining Thank us. Thank you very much. All right. Assistant Coach Chad Wolk joining us as we talk NCAA skiing for the Colorado Buffaloes. Coming up next in Stampede, we're going to meet up with the head Buffalo, Athletic Director Rick George. <laughs>